know anything about this? <laughs> well, I knew they were getting antsy. Antsy! Arg! Antsy's in me panties! Arg! Hey. Look, I'm glad to see you guys are finally doing Look stuff, uh, but couldn't you go swap some barnacles start. or something? Do you have to go this far? Oh, uh, come on, Bob. Well, we're new at this. Yeah, give us a break. We couldn't think of nothing else. Well, scrapbooking. But that's hardly appropriate. That wasn't an actual suggestion. I'm just saying, you can't lose the memories, man. So you want Larry and me to just step aside while you take over the show? Well, Larry can stay if he puts on his eye patch. <gasps> Arg! Oh, yeah, right. You're a pirate, too. How silly of me to forget. Uh, look, I don't know. Come on, Bob. Give us a shot. Before we sink back into inactivity. Interminable slothfulness. Oh, all right. But I'm staying right here and supervising. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, well, this is going anyway. to You won't be sorry, Bob. Yeah. Nobody wears a nice touch right. like me. Arg. Well, anyway, there we were on our three-hour tour, doing our best to entertain the passengers. Some veggies went to see, 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 to see what they could see, see, see. But all that they could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue see, see, see. See? Yes, well, that was just dandy. But isn't it time we left the dock? <laughs> okay, well, fire up the engine first, mate Larry. Aye, aye, Skipper. Kids, welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato, and I'm Larry Boy. Uh, what's going on, Larry? <laughs> and I'm Alfred, Larry Boy's faithful butler, and we're here to answer your questions. Hey, wait a minute, that's my line. Don't worry, frail, helpless tomato. We've got everything under control. Frail. Help? Larry, what are you up to? Uh, do you even have a letter? Today we have a text message from Libby. A text message? It's the latest thing. Cool, huh? Guys, that's enough now. Can we just stick with the script? Please, sir, stand aside. We don't want innocent bystanders getting hurt. Ah! I'm Bob, I'm a tomato, and I need your help. Whoa, deja vu. Um, what's he got on his space helmet? Huh? What do you mean? Larry! What? How many times have I told you not to eat while you're wearing your helmet? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> we need your help, Junior. <laughs> Starship, the USS Apple Pies, is in grave danger. Oh, really? Tell me more. In just eight minutes, the ship and its crew will be smashed to bits by a giant meteor. Good heavens. Well, can't you just move the ship out of the way? That's just it. The Apple Pies is completely without power. Dead in the water. She can't budge an inch. She's stuck. Oh, dear. Well, gee, how can I help? Didn't you minor in aerospace technology at the Happy Tots preschool? Why, yes! Yes, I did! What'd you major in? That's not important now. Plato. <gasps> Me too. No time for chit-chat! Junior, only you can save the apple pies! Lieutenant Larry, the Shrinker Beam! Aye, aye, Captain Bob. <laughs> Oh, uh, Larry? Yeah, Bob? Over here. Oh, yeah? Um, have you been cooking? What? Oh, you noticed my new hat. Your hat? Yeah, isn't it the coolest? Um, Larry, you've got an oven mitt on your head. Oh, yes, they're all the rage. Simply everyone is wearing them. Really? Well, all the cool people anyway. Yep, but you can't see where you're going. Isn't that a little dangerous? Fashion has its price. Larry, he almost fell into a toaster back there. Oh, Bob, Bob, Bob. Don't you read Veggie Beat magazine? This is a look. Without this oven mitt on my head, I just wouldn't be cool. I see. 
Hey, that reminds me of a letter we just got from Dexter Wilmington of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh, you don't say. I do. Now, Dexter says that sometimes when he's at his friend Billy's house, Billy wants to watch this TV show that Dexter's not supposed to watch. Now, Dexter knows that it's a bad show, but Billy says that if he doesn't watch it, it means he's not cool. What should he do? Oh, what a pickle. You know, Bob. Over here, Larry. You know, Bob. I think we need Cordy for this one. I'll be right back. Um, Larry, watch out for the... Sink. Ouch. Are you okay? They didn't mention this in Veggie Beat Magazine. <laughs> the kingdom was at war. The Great Pie War, to be exact. <laughs> and usually, when a kingdom was at war, the king would, uh, help. It'll have to wait, Louis. First things first. Right, Ducky? King George loved to take baths, but most of all, King George loved his rubber ducky. Some kings love horses, and some kings love cattle. Some kings love leading their troops into battle. But me, I'm not like that. I find that stuff yucky. I'd much rather stay in my tub with my ducky. Because I love my duck. Uh, sir, if I could have a minute. Love my duck. There are some things we must discuss. I love my duck. See, there's a war and well, we're in it. Love my duck. Oh, I don't mean to make a fuss. Then don't. Sing with me, Louis. Huh? Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> because he loves his duck. And that is why I can't be bothered. Loves his duck. With a particular the boar. He loves his duck. Cause quite unlike my dear old father. Loves his duck. I find it all a bore. Now concentrate, dear Louis. And I think you will agree. The most important person in the whole wide world is me. So please don't drag me down with all the people and their troubles. Go run some water in my tub to freshen up my bubbles. Oh boy. Because I love my duck. I don't know why I even bother. Love my duck. You just can't reason with this guy. Because I love my duck. It's time to face the facts. I think we're all a little stuck. So let the army run on my I fear the kingdom's out of luck. Because I love my duck. Yes, undoubtedly we're stuck. So let the army run on my Oh boy, we're really out of luck. Because I love my... Hey, what's that? Give me a quarter. I want it. What? The house? No, the ducky. Oh, but you already have a ducky. What are you saying? That I shouldn't have whatever I want? Well, I 
I must have it, I must get it, you must go and get it for me. If you want me to be happy, then you'll show me you adore me. Don't rest another minute till it's sitting here before me. If you want to do your best, I would suggest you go and bring me back that duck. But sir, if I could just jog your memory, you already have quite a few duckies. Wait, boss. Those three guys over there, they don't look sick. Oh? Hmm. Ahem. Thank you, Mr. Nezer, for your lovely gift of chocolate. Yeah, thanks! Everybody else is lying down, but you three are standing up. Actually, boss, I think the tomato is sitting. I'm standing. Sitting. Look, this is sitting, and this is standing. I'm standing. Okay, he's standing. What are your names, boys? I'm Shadrach. I'm Meshach. I'm a bumblebee, a Benny Boo. I'm Benny. We can use boys who know how to stand up here at Neza Chocolate. How would you like to be junior executives? What's it mean? It means you have to wear a tie. Sure, that'd be great. All righty, Mr. Lunt, get them their ties. Right away, boss. Boys, I want to see you in my office first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. Hey, QWERTY, C can you help us? We need to know how many times we're supposed to forgive people, according to the Bible. Maybe, uh, seven times? Matthew 18:22. Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy times seven. Oh, seventy times seven. Seventy times seven. I see. Um, do you know what seventy times seven is? Mm, nope. How about you? Nope. Well, does anybody know what seventy times seven is? Now, God was very disappointed in the Israelites for not following his directions, so he told them that none of them could go into the Promised Land for 40 years. You're kidding me. Nope. That's why they're stuck here, in the desert. Wow. By the time 40 years had gone by, Moses had died. I thought this story was about him. No, it's about Joshua. Joshua? Who's he? Well, he was Moses' helper. When Moses died, Joshua became Israel's new leader. Do I know you? I'm the narrator. Oh. The Israelites were very sad about Moses dying because he was a great leader. But at last, it was finally time. She's so blue, 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 blue. She's so blue, she don't know what to do. Her butlers, whose names were Bob and Larry, would help me with chores in our house in a tree. Bob would wash dishes for Larry to dry. Madam would stack them and then start to cry. I'm so blue, 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 blue. She's so blue, she don't know what to do. These dishes are faded, their edges are chipped. This wall is unpack, well done, this one is flipped. These spoons are too tiny, these forks are no good. These knives have gone dull and don't slice like they should. My neighbors have nice things I've seen them myself. In fact, I keep pictures up here on my shelf. Look at this new flatware of Monsieur Lagoons. And Monsieur Duplan has 12 Franklin mint spoons. And Philip Van P went and bought a new sink. Why, he even has a disposal, I think. And look at this crock pot of Madame Lacrosse's and ceramic jars where she keeps all her sauces. Nice sauces. I'm so blue, 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 blue. She's so blue, she don't know what to do. Just look at this sofa of Edward and Tammy's and lovely oh wow, where they keep all their jammies. I really can't stand it, I think I might die. Now where was the hanky I'm going to cry?
the tomato and welcome to... Larry, what are you doing? Come over here. I'll be right there. Wow, what is this thing? It's my new Suvi action jeep. I've been wanting it just forever, and now it's finally mine. Wow, you must be pretty happy to get a cool toy like that. Oh, yeah. Well, almost. Almost? Well, there's just one more thing I need to be really happy. What's that? The camper. The what? The Suvi Action Camper. You just hook it up to the trailer hitch on my action jeep, and I'll be ready for a weekend of wilderness fun. Oh, so once you get the camper, then you'll be happy? I don't know. There's also the dirt bike. The dirt bike? And the jet ski. Ah. Uh, and the action hang glider. Larry, how much stuff do you need to be happy? I don't know. How much stuff is there? <laughs> well? What are you doing? Uh, I'm a superhero, too! Bob, it takes more than a costume to be a... No, 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 not Bob. I'm the Red Wonder! Or Bobbin, but I'm leaning toward Red Wonder. I have a theme song. And so what we love, learn applies to our lives to learn. God has a lot to say in his book. Wow, catchy. Oh, wait, uh, that's not it. Oh, you let see, me... we know that God's word is for everyone. And now that our song is done, we'll take the back. No, 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 I had it all worked out. Uh, shall we see if QWERTY has a verse for us today? Yeah, fast. <laughs> Keep alert and pray. Otherwise, temptation will overpower you. For though the spirit is willing enough, the body is weak. Matthew 26, 41. So you see, Libby, you need to ask God to help you with the things that keep you from being the kid he wants you to be. Letty boy had a weakness for chocolate. That's why I needed the help of the good friends that God gave me to keep chocolate from getting the best of me. I fear video games might have a similar effect on our friend Libby. Yep. There's nothing wrong with playing video games once in a while, but when they keep you from doing your homework or from helping your mom and dad around the house, they're keeping you from being the kid that God wants you to be. You might want to ask your parents for some help with ideas on how to avoid the temptation of that ever-present video controller or chocolate, or whatever. Great idea, Alfred. Well, the extent of our scheduled period together has once again drawn to a close. Uh, that means that's all the time we have for today, kids. Thanks, Red Wonder. Just remember, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Goodbye! Goodbye. Hey, Red Wonder, let me show you how to do a theme song. Hey, Larry, we're making snow cones back there. Do you want peach or strawberry? Um, not now, Bob. First, I have to smash through this iceberg and free some whales. There are no icebergs around here. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you call that? Ah! <laughs> Oof! <Please>. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, the brochure didn't say anything about layovers. Well, you see, lovey, I, I believe we have had some sort of an accident. Uh, Skipper? Yes, we most certainly had an accident, and I think someone has some explaining to do. Well, um, you see, there were these whales, and they were stuck in the ice. And, well, the only way to get them out was to smash right through that iceberg over there. Except it turned out to be a rock. And rocks are a lot harder than icebergs. It just so happens that the nearest iceberg is 2,640 miles away. What were you thinking? You smashed our boat. Now what are we going to do? You have ruined our vacation. What do you have to say for yourself? Um, I'm sorry? At least the boat is still floating. Oh. I need to call my broker. I'm going to look for a phone. I'm